Welcome back to Patrick's Workshop. Today we're going to make this table saw alignment tool. Stay tuned, I'll show you how. So I recently restored this table saw and I'm ready to get it going. Now I need an alignment tool. The alignment tool is a tool that helps you adjust the blade to align with the miter slots for accuracy. So let's check Google. Hmm. Look kind of expensive. Let's look through the images here. That one's cool. Let's see how much this one is. Holy. Okay, I like that one. Out of the price range. Let's see some DIY ones. That's a nice one. Hmm. Lots to choose from here. Hmm, I really like this one. Let's see if I can make one. Hmm. Let's see some aluminum. McMastercar.com. Three quarter by three quarter. Aluminum. There we go. Uh, there it is. See how much two feet of this cost. We're trying to save money here. Hmm, two feet, eight seventy-nine a foot deal. Sold. Eighteen bucks. So I drew up a little SketchUp model of what I want to build. I figure this would be perfect for aligning my saws and my fence. Three quarter inch by three quarter inch aluminum. Hook to my dial indicator, bolt it to a T. This will be fun to build. Let's get started. Well, my aluminum arrived and I'm ready to build this tool. So I start by measuring out 14 inches. I decided to use my radial arm saw for this project. I take light passes with an older carbide tip blade and it seems to cut this aluminum pretty well. Here on the first piece is going to be a 3 quarter by 3 eighths notch cut in the middle of it. The piece measures 8 and 3 quarter inches long from end to end. After making several test cuts to get the depth right, I installed two stop blocks on the fence on either side of the piece that way I can make the cheek cuts nice and clean. And after each cut, I removed the burr with sandpaper so that it fits nice and smooth along the fence. Now I'm able just to clean out the waste in the middle. I do this in several passes. Now for a quick measurement to see where we're at. Looks like I'm 10 thousandths too short. No problem. So I'm gonna use my feeler gauges. I have a 10 thou feeler gauge. I'm gonna move the fence over just a little bit, holding the piece, slip my feeler gauge in, knock the fence back till it touches the feeler gauge. Move the piece over and make a cut. Now, we'll test the piece again, and there it is. 7.50. Good use of the feeler gauge here. It seems to be just a little snug, so we'll do the process again, but this time I'll just use a 2 thou feeler gauge. I tap it over and I slide the feeler gauge in. Tap the fence back and then move the piece over once I pull the feeler gauge out. Two thousands is not a lot, it's barely a hair. But now the fit is perfect. Now I'm cutting the piece to the final size. This piece is going to be eight and three quarter inches long. So I'm using my saw just to chop off the ends. And I use sandpaper to deeper the ends, and here it is, ready to go. Now it's time to start on the next piece. This piece is gonna require a rabbit at the end for the dial indicator and a bunch of holes laid out. So I'll mark for the rabbit, and we'll cut that out. It's just gonna be 3 8 inch deep, an inch long. Now I'm ready to lay out center 
on this bar using my caliper and I'll scribe a line from one side to the other. Now with my drafting ruler, I will mark with my punch three quarters of an inch centers on each one of these holes right on the center scribe line. It leaves a nice indentation, then I can take it over to the drill press to drill a hole right on the scribe mark. I begin drilling using a eighth inch drill bit to make a pilot hole for the second drill bit. The second drill bit I use is a 17 64ths. That old drill bit will go all the way through. That'll be the one for the quarter 20 bolt to go through free and clear. And then I come back with a 5 16 drill bit to make a spot for the head of the screw to go down. I'm only going down about a quarter inch. On my drill press, I'm utilizing the drill depth stop. That way, all these holes will be identical. Using the vise on my drill press sure makes this an easy process. Now that all the holes are drilled, I'm going to use my chamfer bit to deburr both sides of this. Now back with the drill press, I got the mating pieces lined up so I can center the hole on the bottom piece. And I'm going to use my quarter 20 thread tapper and tap some threads in this piece. Now that I got the thread tapped on it, we can see how the bolt fits. Check the feel of this. Threads in nice and tight. Feels pretty good. That's a one inch cap screw quarter 20. You got one more hole to drill on this project. This is where the dial indicator shall go. So I need to mark the location of it because the dial indicator needs to tilt up and down. So now I'll drill out that hole and then I'll tap it. Quick and easy process. Now I'll use my tap and tap some threads into the aluminum. This piece is just about done. Deburr both sides, hit it with a sandpaper, and now with one more quarter 20 cap screw bolt, I'm able to lock in the dial indicator. Now this thing's ready to test out. Looks pretty cool, huh? This thing went together like exactly how I planned it in my SketchUp model. Here he is now. Put it into the miter slot on my saw so you can see what it's for. And so you can slide it back and forth to check the alignment of the blade. The blade should be perfectly aligned with the miter slots. That'll be for another day. I will show you how to do that exactly step by step in the next video. Stay tuned for that. I thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please hammer that thumbs up button. Check out one of these videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.